Sometimes you have to eat your words, chew your ego, swallow your pride, and accept that you are wrong. It's not giving up. It's called growing up. The past is just a story we tell ourselves. Your growth depends on your willingness to keep learning, even when it's boring. Success is walking from failure to failure, with no loss of enthusiasm. Set your heart on doing good things. Do it over and over again, and you will be filled with joy. Life is like a book. Some chapters are sad, some are happy, and some are exciting. But if you never turn the page, you will never know what the next chapter holds. When the past comes knocking, don't answer. Maybe it's nothing new to tell you. Never cry for the person who hurts you. Just smile and say thank you for giving me a chance to find someone better than you. Be patient and trust the process. Some walks you have to take alone. Time and circumstances can change at any time, so don't devalue or hurt anyone in life. You may be powerful today, but remember time is more powerful than you. Bad habits are like a comfortable bed. Easy to get into but hard to get out of. Don't judge. Nobody has it easy. Everybody has problems, and you never know what people are going through. So before you start judging, criticizing, or mocking others, remember everybody is fighting their own battle. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Never search for happiness in others. It will make you feel alone. But search for it in yourself and you will feel happy even if you are left alone. Last but not least, you are here for a reason that you may not know yet. But be patient. You beat a billion odds by being here. Be grateful for the little things in life that others take for granted. Every situation in life is temporary. So when life is good, make sure you enjoy and receive it fully. And when life is not so good, remember that it will not last forever and better days are on the way. One of the fastest ways to improve your life is to simply do what you said you were going to do. You'll never be brave if you don't get hurt. You'll never learn if you don't make mistakes. You'll never be successful if you don't encounter failures. Your life isn't yours if you constantly care about what other people think. May you live happily every day of your life. Everything comes to you at the right time. Never tell your friends your plans. Stop putting too much trust in them. Don't let anyone know what you're doing until it's done. Worrying only means that you suffer twice. Do not dwell in the past nor dream of the future, but concentrate only on the present moment. Women want sex immediately as soon as they see that a man is kind and dynamic. Six steps to correctly apologize in your marriage. Marriage is built on understanding, compromise, communication, and sacrifice. It often takes overcoming many challenges for two people to cultivate a loving and fulfilling relationship. Just as it's human to make mistakes, this holds true for married couples as well. The key is recognizing those mistakes and sincerely apologizing to your partner without letting ego get in the way. To guide you through this process, here are six steps to effectively apologize in your marriage. 1. Ask for permission to apologize. You can't assume your partner is immediately ready to accept your apology. It's important to give them some time. Sometimes, the opportunity to apologize comes quickly, while other times it may take a while for them to cool down. When they're ready, make sure to clearly explain what you're apologizing for. Two. Let them know that you realize you hurt them. Express genuine regret for your actions, acknowledging that you were in the wrong and that you value their feelings. Let them know you wish you could undo what was said or done. Avoid using phrases like, if I hurt you I'm sorry, as it can come across as insincere. 3. Tell them how you plan to fix the situation. While it may not always be possible to fix a mistake, the intention to do so is crucial. When it is possible, do everything you can to make things right. If it's not, allow your partner to decide how they'd like to resolve the situation. 4. 
let them know that you won't repeat the mistake again. Simply apologizing for your mistake isn't enough. You need to assure your partner that you won't repeat the same mistake in the future. Without that commitment, your apology comes across as just an excuse, not a genuine effort to make things right. 5. Ask them for forgiveness. After discussing the issue, ask your partner for forgiveness. However, avoid assuming that simply because you've asked, they will immediately forgive you. 6. Consider following up with a handwritten note. A handwritten note serves as a lasting reminder of your regret and your commitment not to repeat the mistake. It also reinforces your promise, as they have a written record of your intentions. 7 Things Women Learned From Getting Ghosted By A Guy Ghosting has become a common aspect of modern dating, and almost everyone has experienced it at least once. While recovering from being ghosted can be challenging, it's not impossible. There are certain things to keep in mind when you're being ghosted. Here are 7 lessons women have learned from being ghosted by a guy. 1. Ghosting is simply a part of the modern dating scenario. It's important to realize that ghosting is common and happens to nearly everyone. This doesn't reflect anything negative about you, and you shouldn't let it affect your self-esteem. 2. If they leave, they never wanted you. When someone leaves and ghosts you, it clearly indicates that they are not interested in pursuing a relationship. They would not offer you the love, affection, and effort you deserve. Such behavior shows they are not worth your time. 3. It doesn't really matter why they left. Even if they provide an explanation for their behavior, it may not make much sense. Since people have varying perspectives, understanding their reasons for ghosting might not be helpful. Instead, use this as a chance to move on with your life and connect with new people who truly deserve your love. 4. No point in chasing. When someone ghosts you, it's natural to want to convince them to reconsider. However, that's not the right approach. If they didn't recognize your value from the beginning, they likely never will. Moreover, why would you want to invest your time in someone who isn't worth it? 5. Not every connection is meant to be. You need to accept that not every connection will develop into a lasting relationship. Sometimes, things simply aren't meant to work out, and it's important to remain open-minded about this. While it might be upsetting initially, you will eventually feel relieved as time passes. 6. This relationship was never going to work. It was indeed a blessing that things ended sooner rather than later. You'll be grateful that you didn't become more attached to someone who was destined to leave you partway through. 7. The right person will always stay. Once you find your soulmate, you won't have to worry about losing them. Everything will align perfectly, and they'll never even consider leaving you. They will always be by your side, offering you unconditional love and warmth. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.